my name is Tina Nichols. I am a forensic biologist and research assistant at the Center for Forensic Science Research and Education. I'm in the laboratory today to demonstrate how to use the Gentieri Collect Eject Touch DNA Swab. In this video, I will show how to collect DNA evidence from fingerprints on a weapon. Be sure to wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Remove swab saver from protective foil pouch and place the swab saver on the pouch. Next, open and remove the collect eject touch DNA swab from the wrapper with the cotton tip facing down. If your application requires a wet swab, place wetting agent like distilled water or 2% SDS from an ampule on the edge of the swab. Be sure to only apply one drop of water when wetting the swab. Position the swab head flat against the surface of the sample area and rub using moderate pressure in a circular motion. Ensure that you utilize the entire flat edge of the swab to increase collection surface area. While holding the swab, pick up the swab saver with the other hand. Place index finger through the loop and use the thumb to push the top of the cap towards the loop. Close the cap of the swab saver by putting your fingers under the collar and using your thumb to push down on the cap, ensuring it is snapped closed. Simply place the swab saver back into its protective foil pouch and seal it with Ziploc closure. Seal the pouch with evidence tape and attach any labels or barcodes. Initial and date for chain of custody verification. Your sample is now ready for transport and downstream processing. At Genturi, we are committed to working with forensic scientists to simplify the collection and improve the quality and efficiency of downstream processing. Email info at to request a sample today.